back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my fried pork chops Puerto Rican style or they're also known as chuletas. If you want to learn this recipe then keep on watching. So, but the first ingredient is canola oil and I'll be using canola oil in the marinating process as well as the frying process. I'll be using some adobo, some black pepper, two packs of sazon, some cumin powder, onion powder, garlic powder and here I have some bone-in pork chops and they are very big and juicy let's get started all right so this is what they should look like after you have seasoned them and made sure that every piece of pork chop has seasoning I just use my hand to massage all those seasonings in there so two hours in a fridge right, so I have my pan here and it is at a six right now I did add some canola oil and I added enough just to cover half of the pork chop when it's in the pan. Um, my pan is not that big, so unfortunately I can only cook one pork chop at a time. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, so my pork chops are out of the fridge and I'm just gonna give them one last stir around just to make sure that everything is incorporated. And I'm just going to wait for this to heat up because I want a really hot pan. And we'll be back. Alright, I think my oil is hot, but let's test it out with the pork chop. Oh yeah. Alright, so as you see, the oil covers half of the pork chop. That's exactly what I want. And we're gonna let this cook until we get a brown side. And if you have a thermometer at home, just make sure that it reaches an internal temperature of 165. I don't have that here. I just kind of eye it. <laughs> so I want to say it'll take about um, seven to ten minutes on each side. Pork has to be cooked all the way. So we want to make sure that pork is cooked before you eat it. All right, um, I'm gonna let this brown and then I'll come back and show you how to look. All right, I'm gonna flip it now. Depending on how thick your pork chop is will really determine the, um, the time it cooks. Also, what determines cook time is how crispy do you like your pork chops. We like our pork chops crispy, so I'm pretty much gonna try to burn them. <laughs> but that's up to you. Um, like, a certain people I know, they don't like their pork chops crispy. They like them on the soft side, so really up to you and how you like it. I'm gonna let this crisp up just a little more and We'll be back with the final product. All right, chefs, this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed my recipe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. watching my video if you like this recipe please follow my page at cooking with Kelly Michelle on Instagram make sure to like my video and if you use my recipe please tag me in all of your photos and videos thanks so much for watching